The item I'm holding right now is our USB 2.0 UTP extender. This part, the part number for this is the R042 EXT C5E. This comes with two pieces. It comes, first is the transmitter. The transmitter has comes out input of the USB Type B. It comes out as a UTP. And on the receiver side, it has a UTP input and a USB A output. Basically, this is where you put the this is where you plug the device in. This also requires a power, which we come comes with. Additionally, also includes a USB cable. It's a Type A to Type B, one feet cable, and a driver disc. So for this unit, the range is up to 100 meters, and it can be used with any USB 2.0 device. And for for our example, I will be using a USB flash drive. A barco scanner and this monitor is actually a touchscreen monitor which I'll be using too. So first thing you would do is plug in the cable, the cable, the one p cable to the PC and once you do that I will plug in the cable to the transmitter. Now Before you actually even plug it in, you have to have installed the software, which already have I already have installed here. This is the icon for the software, and you double click it, or if it runs automatically, it will be over here in the task menu right here. This is where I have to keep notice. This tells you the status of the USB device. Right now, when this is blue with a red circle in it, it means no device is connected. However, once I finish connecting it. It'll change. So let me do that right now. Now, once you have, when you have the USB connected to the PC, transmitter side, you will then connect the USB UTP cable. I'm actually using a Cat5 100 meter cable. So one end goes there. At the other end, goes to the receiver unit. Now, once you have, once you have this, then you plug in the power cord. Now, when you plug it in, you notice. The both these LED lights. There's two LED lights on the RJ45 jack. One's green and one's orange. The green ones will light up, meaning it's being signal is being transferring through, and it's being powered. The orange lights means it's actually it's communicating between each other between the two units. And once you have this all by, at this point right now, the taskbar icon. Let's we'll turn from a blue with red circle to a solid blue circle, meaning it's ready to accept a USB device. Now, so like anything, like any other thing, once once this thing's turned blue solid circle, you start using a USB device. Like so, I'll just plug it in to receiver unit. Let it sit for a minute. Let it detect everything. And there you go. It's all installed. And you can see, as you can see, I'm actually accessing accessing a file off the hard flash drive. Let me just show you a better view of it. Close that. This is the removal disk. Open it up, and you can actually access any video from inside the flash drive. Now, similarly, I'm done with it. Pull everything, unplug it, and you plug in a scanner, barcode scanner. Like the previous thing, you hear the beep, meaning it's detected. And like the previous, like the fast drive, it's also installing the drive device drivers. And to use this, I'll just open a regular document. Word document file, the notepad, and let me just scan something. Like, let me see right here. You notice I scan something, comes up. That's how, that's 
the scanner. Now, the last thing I'm going to show you is actually a touch screen right now. So, like before, just unplug it. And I'll get the touch screen monitor. Uh, plug it in. Like before, just wait for it to finish. Detect, detect it. Once it's finished, it should be able to hang uh, out. You can see. I see it works right now. I'm just using the, the monitor. Double click. I can close, do anything. I can close it, minimize it, close this file, close this thing. I'm using this all through touchscreen right now. Okay. And oh, one important thing is when you connect, uh, when you connect a device there, the boost circle will actually turn green, solid green, meaning the device is actually being is detected by the computer. And he can use, he can, it's actually running.